guys what's up and welcome back to the Ayusente channel where we talk about all things fragrance in today's video we are going to talk about a brand that has become quite popular in recent times and that is none other than Latafa which is from the Middle East and their origins can actually be traced back to the 1980s but then the brand was officially launched in 1992 amazing but i thought they came out only recently but then i did a little reading on them only to find out that they've been around for ages anyway so latafa actually you know sometimes gets it right with some of their perfumes and sometimes it's not so great but in today's video i want to talk about four of their perfumes that are actually safe to blind buy you don't need to smell them before you purchase them because they are actually decent and easy to wear so let's just jump right into the video the first bottle for today is called Kaid or Kayed. I'm not too certain of the pronunciation, but the spelling is Q double A A E D, and this is the packaging that our bottle came in. This is a 30 ml bottle. This is actually cardboard, but I believe the 100 ml bottle comes in a packaging that looks sort of like leathery. So maybe that's the difference that you can pick up in terms of. Uh, the 30 ml bottle and the 100 ml bottle and then this is how it opens up with our bottle sitting in here and it's quite secure in there you can shake it and it's not going to fall out i like the fact that the cup is also quite secure so it's not going to fall out that's quite impressive for me and then this is this is our bottle i really like cute bottles like this so tiny and cute but I don't like the fact that the gold color used here is so loud i mean it doesn't feel like how gold should feel like i feel like maybe they should have used a different shade of gold this is just too loud it's not working for me but that's what latafa decided to go with and i believe we've got some details printed on here as well so this is what we are working with in terms of the bottle and then the container and all that so we are just going to get into the scent and i'll tell you what i think about it right after we talk about the notes this opens with a warm spicy combination of cinnamon and cardamom with with a little bit of bergamot to like you know lighten the opening and then for the middle notes we have saffron cedar and sandalwood for the base notes we have leather vanilla amber and wood and incense is actually not mentioned in here but i feel like i get like a slight smoky sweet incense in the background as this dries down i don't know it's not mentioned like i said but i pick up something that comes across like an incense feel like a smoky incense vibe somewhere in there at the very least you're going to get like seven or eight hours out of this when you spray it the scent bubble that you this puts you in right is so massive it's crazy actually it's nice it smells expensive and rich truth be told the opening is a little bit harsh but once it starts toning down the scent is so warm and cozy and smooth i feel like it's also going to be perfect for winter cold weather as well this is like that yummy vanilla incense leathery scent that you really don't want to pass up like i said i feel like it's a safe blind buy it's not going to be um annoying it's not going to be cloying it's not going to be harsh after it dries down right so yeah if you want to save blind buy you can consider this to me i feel like this leans masculine i think it's marketed as unisex but to me i feel like it comes across as a little bit masculine but yeah that's our first perfume for today which is kayed by latafa our next bottle is called velvet wood also by latafa like i said today is all about latafa and this velvet wood is a 30 ml bottle it actually comes in 100 ml and 30 ml and this was released in 2018 same year as kayed and i've already smelt it but i actually never owned a bottle until today or until i decided to film this particular video and then i got a 30 ml bottles to talk about so let me just quickly unbox it and then we can talk about 
the perfume notes in the scents or i can tell you about the perfume notes while i unbox then we'll talk about the same depends on how quick i am with unwrapping this bottle anyway so let me just quickly get the cellophane off and then we can continue okay okay so the 30 ml also comes in a cardboard container i can't remember whether the big bottle comes in also something that looks like a swedish kind of material yeah i think the 100 ml comes in something like a swedish material with um a sort of leathery label does it i'll check and then maybe put that in my review on instagram so if you are not following me on instagram you can check me out on instagram my handle is iris scented i'll link it in the caption of this video but this is what velvet oud looks like for the 30 ml bottle and oh la this is so cute i don't know why i like tiny cute bottles but yeah it looks just like the 100 ml bottle just in a smaller bottle let me just put this somewhere okay now i don't know maybe i might be biased but let me know in the comment section what do you think about these two bottles if you had to choose just be honest if you had to choose between this and that i personally would go for this i feel like this looks more a little bit more elegant and classy as compared to the kayed bottle this is what it looks like just similar to the 100 ml bottle i like I don't know i like the label even with the 30 ml they try to replicate the same feel as the 100 ml bottle and i like the fact that the latafa logo is in there in the cup so beautiful so elegant so cute okay so i think i noticed the first thing i don't like about this 30 ml bottle <laughs> so i just realized that it's not as solid as the cayenne bottle or oh okay it's not going to fall off but it's not that secure it easily comes off but that's not really a big deal is it let's just talk about the perfume notes okay so top notes we have cardamom and bergamot and then for the middle notes we have violet leaf and patchouli just give me a quick second or just one second to inhale the scent it's so pretty so for the base notes we have suede amber oud mask and oak moss to be honest, I feel like this scent deserves more hype than it already has in the fragrance community. It smells like money, period. Like, case closed. Like, it's not even like an opulent display of wealth, like in your face kind of situation going on here. This is understated, but elegant. It's classy. It has some kind of sexy, alluring appeal going on here. This is a scent that you want to rock on a date night or any night out occasion kind of vibe going on in here. I personally really love this a lot and to be honest I think um, the violet leaf the patchouli is practically non-existent in here what you get is like more of a soft leathery appeal and even though fruit notes are not really mentioned in here I feel like the leathery accord in here has kind of like a fruity like a third fruity nuance to it as well it's really pleasant and as it dries down, you get like a soft, powdery, musky accord going on as well. All in all, it's a really pleasant and appealing scent. To me, personally, I think I got about six hours of wear when I first tried this. Maybe it could push to seven or eight, but it, I mean, it depends on your body chemistry and how well it gels with this particular scent. If you do get it though, let me know how you like it. I am really curious to know what your impression of Velvet Wood is also going to be. I really like this scent. And also, I have to say that it's not overly masculine. It's not overly feminine as well. It's right there in the middle of a unisex fragrance. So, a lady can rock it. A guy can rock it as well. And, do I have anything else to say? I think I'll just end here and move on to the other bottles so that I don't spend too much time on this particular fragrance for today. Our next two bottles are called Rums Gold and Rum Silver, and I think they are actually supposed to be like um, 
from the same collection if i'm not mistaken this just has the silver band and this has the gold band and that's all there is in terms of difference in packaging this came out in 2021 i just couldn't find the launch date for this one but let me just put this aside and let's talk about rams gold and then we can move on to ram silver so this is how rams gold looks like in terms of the bottle is this burgundy colored bottle with the gold cup and i like how you know some text is embossed on the bottle i feel like it's a really cool design going on it's so cute and tiny today is all about tiny 30 ml bottles and for the top note of rams gold we have orange black currants apple pear and peach oh this has like a fruity opening this is so delightful and then for the middle notes we have jasmine sandbag we have orange flower and rose for the base notes we have vanilla sandalwood patchouli and white mask like i said today is all about safe blind buys from latafa you know this is a safe blind buy it's so easy to wear it's a woody sweet fruity floral fragrance for me it leans slightly more feminine but i think i've gotten some compliments from guys and then i had one friend say he wouldn't mind wearing this really easy to like i love the scent it's so invigorating like I like how light it is how airy it is this fragrance is re you can't go wrong with this you can gift someone with this if you don't know what scent to get from latafa you can start with this i fully vouch for it now it becomes a bit more musky and powdery as it dries down you know it's delightful it's simple and you don't have to worry about offending people because you can easily blend in in a crowd. That's one thing I do have to say for this. It, it's not so unique like Velvet Oud, like Kaya. This is not really going to make you stand out in a crowd. And I think this is what you can say is here for a good time, not a long time, you know. It's not going to last for ages. I think you get about four hours of wear and then this becomes a skin saint but other than that you can't really go wrong with the saint and for the price point i'm going to link it in the caption or put this on video i'm not too certain i can't remember how much i got this for so i just look to the bottom of the screen i'll just type it somewhere in here it's not super expensive so for the price point i think this is totally worth it now last but not the least we are going to talk about rams silver and this i said was uh, released in 2021 i have a feeling it was released after rams gold came out but i'm not too certain about that and this is how the bottle looks like same design as the rams gold the only difference is the silver color in place of the gold and before we talk about perfume notes and what I think about this scent, I have to mention that this has been said to be like a dupe for Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. We'll get into the scent profile so that we see whether I agree with that or not. So let's talk about perfume notes. So for opening notes, Rum Silver has pear, bergamot, lavender and mint. And actually, it's the same opening notes for Ultra Mill, just that Ultra Mill has lemon added to the opening notes. For middle notes, this has sage and cardamom, while Ultra Mill has like caraway, clary sage, and cinnamon. So you can tell that once that opening scent evaporates, the middle notes now become a little bit different. And also for the base notes, you can pick up some similarities and differences between Ram Silver and Ultra Mill, which is that Ram Silver has vanilla, amber, patchouli, and mask for the base notes. While Ultra Mill, I think, doesn't have any mask, but it, it rather has cedar. And also there's a little bit difference in the vanilla that is used. This just mentions vanilla in the base, while Ultra Mill has like a black vanilla husk now this is a sweet fruity aromatic vanilla scent right 
I think it's like a calmer version of Ultra Meal. It's a still for the price. If you can't afford Ultra Meal by Jean Paul Gaultier, but you want something that smells like this, then you can try this one. It's so calm, it's laid back. I don't know whether it was initially marketed as a fragrance for men, but given that you know it's supposed to be a due for a men's fragrance, but in my opinion, I think it does smell a little bit unisex in terms of performance this lasts about eight hours like you can get eight hours out of this and it projects decently i don't think it leaves like a strong sillage like you know it doesn't really leave much of a scent trail but you are going to get like maybe an arm's length of projection it's a really decent sweet scent sweet vanilla aromatic scent not sweet as in overly sweet or cloying so you can't go wrong with this like i said i think this is a safe blind buy so we've come to the end of today's video. We spoke about Kayed and Velvet Oud, which are both basically leathery fragrances with their own twist. And then we spoke about Rams Gold and Rams Silver, which are also like fruity floral fragrances, each with their own twist as well. Like I said, I feel like these four fragrances are safe blind buys and also they are easy on the pocket. So you can't consider them if you are looking to buy a Latafa fragrance. I'll be back on your screens very soon with more Latafa fragrances in the coming months. I don't know whether we'll talk about any Middle Eastern fragrance on this um, 12 days of Christmas this the same but maybe i might bring some more middle listing fragrances even if they are not from the brand latafa but look out for niche bottles as well designer bottles as well maybe some celebrity fragrances i'm not too certain but thank you for watching up until this point i appreciate each and every one of you if you haven't yet subscribed please click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any video i post i'll be back on your screens another time take care bye